stop, everything, because we're diving into some mysterious territory. Someone blocked your contact with your guardian angels, and they prayed for your last breakthrough. Get ready for a mind-bending journey that'll challenge your beliefs about unseen forces. The universe is aligning to communicate with you, and your angels are working tirelessly to break through the barriers that have been blocking the connection. This is not a coincidence, it's a divine intervention. Your guardian angels urge you to tune in, to heed, and to embrace the awaiting message. Feel the energy as you watch the video. Close your eyes, breathe deeply. Can you feel something greater? Waves of positivity, love, and guidance are coming your way. But first, acknowledge their presence and stay open. Comment, yes, if you believe in God. This simple act strengthens your connection with the divine. Be receptive and let their guidance shape your path. The universe operates mysteriously and your angels are poised to unveil your next steps. Consider the concept of interference hindering your connection with your guardian angels. While it may seem unusual, factors such as negative energies, uncertainties, and anxieties can erect a barrier between you and the divine realm. Your angels wish to reassure you that these impediments are transient and surmountable. They have tirelessly advocated for you, offering prayers for your liberation. And now, the moment has arrived for you to re-establish the bond that was momentarily severed. I release all negative energies to break free from the barriers that have been holding you back. Your angels are guiding you to let go of any doubts, fears, or insecurities that may have been preventing you from receiving their messages. As you type these words, visualize yourself releasing these negative energies and feel a sense of liberation. Your guardian angels are ready to restore the divine connection and bring their messages of love and guidance back into your life. Now, let's delve into the specific message your guardian angels have for you. It could be related to your relationships, career, personal growth, or spiritual journey. The divine guidance is tailored to your unique circumstances, and your angels want you to pay attention to the insights they are about to reveal. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and trust that the message you receive is exactly what you need to hear at this moment in your life. I am ready to receive my message to signal your openness to the specific guidance your guardian angels have for you. The act of claiming your message creates a direct link between you and the divine realm, allowing the guidance to flow seamlessly into your awareness. Be patient as the answers may not come immediately, but trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to bring clarity and direction to your journey. As you await your personalized message, take a moment to express gratitude to your guardian angels. The fact that you are here, reading this article and claiming the message, is a testament to the divine intervention in your life. Your angels have been with you through every challenge, every triumph, and every moment of uncertainty. They're your unseen companions, guiding you with love and wisdom. Gratitude is a powerful force that amplifies the positive energy around you and strengthens the connection with your angels. As you type these words, feel the warmth of their presence and know that you are surrounded by unconditional love and support. The Father has a distinct message reserved specifically for you. My child, I want you to know that a new season is upon you, a season overflowing with faith and trust in me. I am orchestrating divine appointments and connections that will propel you forward in ways you can't even imagine. Don't let fear grip you, for I am walking with you every step of this journey. Your patience and waiting has not gone unnoticed, and now, I am unfolding new opportunities before you. I am swinging wide doors of opportunity that no one can shut, and I am surrounding your path with my favor. Even if you can't see the whole picture just yet, trust in my timing and my plans. I am removing every obstacle and breaking every chain of fear and doubt that has held you back in the past. You are stepping into a season of freedom and victory. Don't be disheartened by the trials ahead. They are only refining you, shaping you into the person I've destined you to be. Embrace these challenges, for they will fortify you and mold my character within you. I am anointing you afresh, igniting a new fire and passion within you for the purpose I've called you to. Your dreams and desires will come to fruition as you lean on me and follow my lead. I will grant you the discernment and wisdom you need for every decision and every step. Trust in me, for I am the one who goes before you, making a way even in the most impossible situations. This is your season of breakthrough and advancement. 
It's your time to shine and make a difference in the world around you. I am releasing you now. Go forth in my power and grace and fulfill the purpose I've placed within your heart. I want you to know that I am imparting upon you a special anointing, a fathering anointing to minister to young people and those who are hurting and broken. Additionally, I am giving you strategies and plans to establish places for my glory. In this season, I will also release finances and resources to you. You may start to see a trickle of these resources even in the remainder of the year, but be prepared for a river of provision to be released. I am also aligning you with specific individuals and granting you discernment. You may have had certain people in mind to partner with, but if there's no peace, it's because I am refining your ability to discern my specific steps. I am moving you forward into a deeper understanding of my plans for you. Know that I am pleased with you. You haven't gone astray or missed my plans for your life. I am bringing about great change and a mighty move in your life. Have courage and be assured that I will never leave or forsake you. I have created you to be a mighty warrior for my kingdom. I have gifted you with the ability to heal and I want you to go out and touch my people. I have given you power and authority in my name and have already guided you in the right direction. I am pleased with your willingness to seek me and my kingdom. You won't have to circle back around the same mountain again because I am with you. I will take you up the mountain and through the valleys to minister to people. Remember, it's by my spirit, not by human effort, that things will be accomplished. I have brought you to this point for a purpose and I want you to receive the blessings and exaltation I have in store for you. New things, such as prosperity and relationships, will come into your life. So keep your focus on me and move forward with confidence, knowing that I am well pleased with you. The Father says today, this is your now moment to redefine your boundaries. Over time, the enemy seeks to build barriers of pressure to keep you from putting your foot on new territory that I have given you in my kingdom. Never allow the pressures of life to move you in that direction. Turn your face into the storm and command those winds and waves to cease. Do not take no for an answer. Turn broadside to the greatest challenge in your life and step forward by my spirit into a radical outcome. This is where we separate the men from the boys, says the father. Are you ready for a come up higher assignment? Say this in your heart. Greater is the pressure of God's spirit flowing out of me than the pressure of the enemy trying to overcome me. Say it till it is true. Say it until it becomes your default inner response to every challenge of life. I am calling upon you to strip away some buffers you have placed around yourself for comfort's sake. It is time to love the unlovely. It is time to show favor to those who have not championed my blessing in your life. The most radical thing you can do is make yourself a positive blessing in the lives of those who have been anything but a blessing back to you. Let love find its perfect expression in your life. Refuse to be manipulated or controlled. Speak truth and live every day with a willing heart and a hand open to those in need. Expose the charlatans and false professors. Step out as a purified example of walking in love, in generosity, in righteousness and truth. This is who you are. This is your highest and best self that I created you to manifest. Every day in every way, regardless of the pressure. Act now and see your horizons become filled with my promise. The Father says today, I am safeguarding you even in your imperfection. You are not perfect and you know that. What you may not realize is that my mercy is shed abroad in your heart, even in the midst of your failings imperfection, and yes, even outright disobedience. If I were to judge mankind, as some suggest, I would vaporize all the earth in a moment of time. There is not one moment of failure or even transgression in your life that takes me by surprise or gives me pause regarding the gift of life I have bestowed upon you. This is my patience. This is my long suffering that is extended to you not as an excuse to disobey, but because I know your frame and choose mercy over judgment. Receive that mercy this day.
No more cutting yourself with the shards of guilt among the tombs of regret. Rise up, shake yourself and sin no more. Cast aside the fig leaves of excuses and denial. Face yourself for who you really are and realize just how merciful I am and continue to be in your life. Your walk is not intended to be an endless cycle of sinning and being forgiven. Those hidden faults and secret sins shall not have the rule over you any longer. Reach out by faith and appropriate the grace to put those things under your feet and under the blood once and for all. You are ordained to carry my image and reflect my character in the earth. Receive the grace to do just that, even this day. Today is that day in which your final victory over your own fallen nature is assured by my hand. The Father says today that I am the banner over you. The angels of heaven are ever aware of where my banner is lifted up. Your life is a rallying point for my sanctified ones who wage war against the enemy of your soul. Though confusion reign and though you may struggle to understand all that is going on around you, be at rest and continue to trust in my protection. I will safeguard you. I will keep that which you have committed unto me against that day. Keep seeking the kingdom. Do not allow anyone or anything to dissuade you from putting my kingdom first and listening to my voice above all else. Immerse yourself in my word. Follow my word and seek my mandates over your life. Become a faithful steward of my word and make it the one overarching covenant in your life to follow my word in all things. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. The ensign of my favor overshadows you. The shield of faith, the measure of faith I've given to every man, is quenching every fiery dart that seeks to penetrate your heart. Refuse to be offended. Refuse to be scandalized or shocked by what others are doing and saying. Let my peace, my great peace, keep you in a place of composure and rest when all others have bolted and fled the battle. Keep trusting, be secure in the knowledge that you will be left standing at the end of the day. As the smoke clears, you will have your foot in the neck of the enemy and the cross will have triumphed in your situation as it has triumphed over all since the foundation of the world was laid. This is your portion. This is my promise and it shall not fail. The Father says today of the increase of my governance in your heart and in your life, there will be no end until you come to your blessing place in full maturity before my throne. This is a season of growing and maturing in your faith, navigating difficult people and situations coming out of timidity and stepping into radical risk to pursue my values and my purpose for your life. As you know, I am a God of growth, increase and manifest glory in, on and around you. My divine incorruptible seed is on the inside of you, gestating, breaking ground and producing fruit, for I created all things to grow and multiply and I desire the same for you. Not all those you have surrounded yourself with are conducive to spiritual growth. Love them, bless them, but make it a specific choice to hold your time valuable and your spiritual environment sacrosanct. Surround yourself with anointed leadership. Go out and find someone walking in a level of anointing, glory and breakthrough that you don't have. Get in their life and sit at their feet. What their actions, listen to their words. Align yourself with them and invest your time, energy and resources to gain access. For with access comes the elements of influence that will, in time, bring you to a total breakthrough. Don't expect it to be easy. When you are around people who are walking in the truth and living a life of obedience to God, you will be challenged and encouraged to grow in your own walk. How many hours are you willing to sacrifice? How many miles are you willing to drive? What are the things, people and situations in your own life you are willing to sacrifice and step away from to find the secret place 
where my wisdom and anointing saturate you and change you from the inside out. Spend time in my word. It is full of wisdom and truth that can help you grow in your knowledge of the holy and knowledge of my ways. As you study my word, be sure to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand what you are reading and apply it to your life. Finally, you can grow in your faith by serving others. What you make happen for others, I will make happen for you. I've told you and told you and told you. And now is your moment to step into the role of service and giving that will defeat all the doubts and harassment the enemy piled on you when you were wallowing in self-pity. Give me what you have, your gifts, talents and abilities. Be like the little boy who gave me his lunch and I fed thousands. Are you ready to participate in that dynamic? When you use your gifts and talents to serve others, you demonstrate your love for God and his people. Serving others is also a great way to grow your humility and learn more about God's love for you. As you grow and mature in your faith, I want you to also take leadership over those around you in need. Many people in the world are lost and hurting, and they need your help. Be a light to the world and share my love with everyone you meet. Pray for your friends, family and neighbors. Ask God to bless them and help them in their time of need. As job of old, I will turn your captivity when you pray for the needs of those around you. Volunteer your time helping people in need. Allow no excuses to keep you from becoming broken bread to those in need and hurting. Give financially into the kingdom. Don't fall for the lie that says I'm short on money. I will give of my time. Doesn't my word say that the seed is in itself? If you want corn, you don't plant wheat. If you want money, you plant and sow money. Generosity is MY love language. Let generosity be your love language. And I will fill you to overflowing with all the natural resources you need and an abundance left over to sow into the initiatives of the kingdom. Remember, THE giving comes first, then the abundance. Stop waiting for your ship to come in. That is also a lie. Do now with what you have and I will open the windows of my provision and pour out a blessing you cannot contain. Share the gospel with others. Tell them about my love in your life and how they can have a relationship with me. When you take leadership over those in need, you follow in my footsteps. I am a God who loves and cares for all people and I want you to do the same. Here comes the message Father is talking about and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. O oh Lord, as I lift my voice to you in prayer, I am struck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, place a hedge of protection around us, and grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures 
and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul, and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, in the midst of life's storms. Help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments, I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch, whether the ailment is physical, emotional or spiritual. I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened 
and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me in the path of righteousness. In conclusion, this message is a reminder of the boundless blessings and higher callings that await you. The universe is preparing you for greater things, and your guardian angels are guiding you toward endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Are you ready to step into this new chapter of your journey? Your destiny awaits, and the Father says, Today, son and daughter, open your eyes and your heart to greater blessings and higher callings. Do not allow the mundane things of life to clip your wings or steal your joy. Trials and struggles will exhaust themselves and have an end because the energy that drives them does not come from my throne, but from the domain of darkness. You will not be held bound, for I have declared life over you and life more abundantly. Act now and sow into this word according to what you need and want God to do in your situation. If you have faith to give 10,000, you have faith to receive one million dollars. This is an important revelation and your guardian angels have a special message for you. Someone is convinced you're their soulmate and this person loves you. A fiery energy is creating a rare opportunity to restore a sacred bond. Destiny plays a significant role in our lives, and sometimes the most unexpected unions are the ones that bring us the greatest joy. Embrace the unexpected, for your journey is about to venture into uncharted but potentially magical realms. Your cosmic dancing shoes await, and your love story is a cosmic phenomenon that radiates strength, positivity, and the boundless potential of the human heart. In the final act, there's a lesson, a reminder that love, when guided by the divine, becomes a force that transcends age, societal norms, and expectations. It's a narrative of courage, authenticity, and the limitless potential of two hearts intertwined. Trust in the profound love story that destiny could be scripting for you, even as we speak. 
with your heart wide open and your spirit attuned to the symphony of the universe, be ready to embrace the extraordinary. After all, love has a way of uniting soulmates, and who knows what magnificent love story the cosmos is currently composing for you. Your destiny awaits. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.